Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today. I will be sharing an altered project that I created using Strawberry Milkshake Collection by Prima. I also used an item from the Dollar Tree, which I mentioned that I would in my recent Dollar Tree haul. So do you remember what that item was? Well, let me show you. So here is the project. It is the altered strawberry frame tack board or cork board from the Dollar Tree. I had so much fun altering this project and I even created a tutorial to show you all the steps that I took to create it. One of the first things I did was cut out a frame using the Prima paper and Cricut Design Space. Now, for those that do have a Cricut, I created a file for you so that you wouldn't have to figure out the sizing for yourself. I also created a template for those that don't have a Cricut maker. So those will be linked down below in the description box. The next thing I did was add some metal flakes around the edging of the paper. I not only put some of the metallic flakes on the paper, I also put it over here on the actual frame itself. I was amazed at how well that that stuck to the frame, but it and the acrylic paint that I used to make splatters around the edging and on some of the pieces just stuck really well to this. I added some ephemera pieces here. I created a cluster here, up here in the corner, and we have a cluster over here on the strawberry. Down below, we have that cute little girl. I added the gold bow ephemera piece to the back of her hat, and then I stacked three more pieces of ephemera next to her and added strawberry fields forever. On the cork board itself, I added a rub-on flower that actually goes with the paper collection, and that was from the Dollar Tree. I added an ephemera piece here, and I even redecorated a tack so that I could put that on the board. I just added one of the puffy strawberry stickers there. At the top, I used an ephemera piece, a puffy butterfly, and one of the puffy strawberry pieces there as well. Over here where the strawberry is, I cut out a piece of the decorative paper and I created a shaker out of it by using some tool and I sewed that on, put in my shaker bits, and there we go. It even goes behind the typewriter. <laughs> Lots of fun. Now the typewriter is layered with some flowers and some leaves and the typewriter itself is made from wax. I added some more of the metallic flakes onto the typewriter keys just so they would stand out a little bit. I used a rub-on to add the word love and used one of the chipboard hearts. So that is my altered project. I so loved creating this and I hope that you'll try creating this as well. I show you how to do everything that I've done here. I even go over the waxing of the typewriter here. I did use the mold that went with this collection, but lots of fun. So let's get into the tutorial. For this project, I'm going to use one of these strawberry tack boards or cork boards that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. What we're going to do is alter this. To alter this frame, the first thing I did was try to determine what the size of the actual frame was if I wanted to add decorative paper. So I figured this out using Cricut Design Space and I actually have a link for this frame cut out so that you would be able to cut out your own frame with whatever decorative paper that you're going to use. So I used the Prima Strawberry Milkshake paper and I cut this frame out. I've inked around the frame using Distress Oxide Kitsch Flamingo. And before we adhere this down, we need to make some cuts here so it will lay flat onto the frame and not onto the strawberry here. So I'm going to put this where I want it to be. That looks good right there. I'm going to use my bone folder I'm going to come over here and kind of put it alongside the strawberry and just kind of make a crease there. 
going to do the same thing up here at the top. This will help guide me into where to make the cut. was kind of cautious on my cutting so that I could make sure I didn't cut too much or too little. So it's really kind of just trial and error. <laughs> there we go. So I think I'm going to start with this small section when laying it down. Next I picked out several different pieces from the ephemera that I'm going to add as a little cluster down here in the corner. Now I'm going to add metallic flakes. To do that, you want to put just a slightest bit of glue on the paper, and then you take your flake, you put it over it, and let it sit for a moment. When it has dried a little bit, use a stiff brush to brush off the extra flakes. It's a little messy, but it's a great impact. For the actual strawberry, I want to cover that with decorative paper as well. So what I did was just take a piece of cardstock, or you could even use paper. I placed it on here. I then took my bone folder again. I went around, and I hope you can see. I'm going to bring you down. I went around the paper with my bone folder to, again, differentiate the lines of the strawberry. You have to hold it really good when you're doing this. But you can see that you're able to get the shape of the strawberry this way. Now you could try to measure it if you want to, but I think that would be harder than what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm even going up here at the top where the leaves are. Okay. Just make sure you go all the way around. So if you see, now you can see the shape of the strawberry. Then what I did was take this piece and I cut out around that shape. And I ended up with something like this. Uh, excuse that, it's just my notes. <laughs> so, now I have this shape that I can use to cut out my decorative paper. And that's what I've done here. I've cut that out. Now what I need to do is actually bring this back over. And I didn't do anything with the leaves when I cut this out. I just wanted to get the shape of the strawberry. So now I wanna hold this back in place. It is a little tricky and then go back in with my bone folder and get the definition of the leaves so I can cut that part out. You could use a pencil if you wanted to. I think it's 
pretty easy to do it with the bone folder. It's just tricky to hold it so still without gluing it on. Just make sure you get in there really good and get that definition. Because I don't mind having these pink leaves, especially when I have a pattern here to go on the bottom. I think it'll be a nice offset. So I'm going to err on the safe side and kind of cut right at the top of where the indent is rather than under it. Let's see how I did. Not too bad. Just have to make sure you put it right back in the spot that you had it. <laughs> Yeah, see there, I maybe didn't cut right, but it's just a little bit. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So now might be a better time to come back in with the pencil. Okay, that one looks good right here. That looks good. Yeah, see there's a little much there. It's tricky to do this. All right, just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. I just need to erase my pencil marks. So I think around my strawberry, I think this is looking really good. Now I was going to put the typewriter mold here but it's not dry yet, or at least I don't think it is. It's very pliable. <laughs> I used a new clay. It's this Model Magic by Crayola. And I mean, this is set almost 24 hours and it's still pretty pliable. So in the meantime, I thought, well, why don't I make this a shaker? So I've cut off some tool. It's really pretty pink tool I picked up from Joann's has some nice iridescent on it. I think that will just give it the nice little sparkle that it needs there. And put some sequins in it. Now I did not purchase the Prima sequins that went out with this collection, uh, but I do have some others that I can put in there and also around this. So I'm going to do that offline and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've mixed together different sequins that I had in my stash um, from different places. And now I'm going to put that into my little pocket that I created. I sewed around the tool on top of the card and then left the top open. This is already looking so cute. I hope this will work. There we go, we have a nice mix that matches. And now I'll go and sew the top of the shut. Okay, so here is our shaker bit. I love it. So sparkly, woohoo. <laughs> I've added adhesive tape to the back and we'll put this down. I'm not gluing it on in case I ever wanna remove it. I think it'd be easier with adhesive tape backing than it would be with actual glue. But you could probably glue this down as well. Cute. Now, since my typewriter mold is not dry, I thought we might try something a little different by using the mold with some wax. 
and I'm going to do like a little swirl marble effect and let's see I think I like that one better so I got my light all going here and here's my little spoon so now I'm gonna take and get my wax in there I wish these were like in little chunks but they're not so let me get this broke up, put it in there, and then I'll come back and we'll see how it works with wax. Now I knew I wouldn't have enough to fill the whole thing, but I wanted to go ahead and get as much as I could in there. If it's thin, it's okay. Oh, it's looking so cool. So I'll melt a little more and pour that on and thicken it up in there. And then we'll have to sit and let this dry. I thought we would do some white little splats if it comes out right. <laughs> I'm using Artist Loft Titanium White. I put a little water in here just to make it a little bit runny. We'll see how this works out. I might have too much. So I put probably too much water in there, but we'll see. We want it to be runny so it'll splatter good. If it doesn't work, I'll just dab it off. Actually, I don't mind that look at all. I'm loving it. <laughs> all right, let me let this dry. Okay, now I wanna do a little more decorating over here. I did take the typewriter out of the mold and this is what it looks like. I am loving this. So good. And I'm wondering if we should put any gold like on the keys. Mm, maybe we should. <laughs> we'll just do it haphazardly. Yes, I'm really liking that. So cool. <laughs> okay, before I add this over here, I have another rub-on. I found this flower. So the ones, the rub-on pack I'm working with is this one at the Dollar Tree. And this flower really matches this collection. So I'm going to put this directly onto the uh, cork here kind of tuck it up underneath the frame and then I'm going to put it right onto the cork so then this makes this a little cluster we have a cluster here here and here and if you notice you know like the rule of threes your eyes will bounce from wherever you start if you start here it'll go here and then here and then it just kind of continues right You want it to draw your attention to all the good spots. <laughs> so if you can see that right there, I love that it's just directly on the cork. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we can work over in this area for the typewriter. I have a couple flowers and leaves. I was just going to do a cluster of sorts. I'm going to use some sticky thumbs, sticky dots. 
Hopefully these will be the best to do this. Now, even though these flowers have a um, gem in the center, I don't want that to show because there's already enough sparkly over here going on. So I'm gonna cover that up. I only put adhesive on this side of the typewriter so that the shaker could still go up underneath there, the shaky bits. Oh yeah. And now for the actual cork board itself, I found this in the ephemera pack. I think this is so adorable. I must use it. <laughs> then I took a tack and I added on one of the stickers, one of the strawberry stickers. I did cut down the little post. So that's it, everyone. That is my altered project. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun creating this. It was fun to just sit down and play and create something so fun. I am loving this. I do hope that you'll give it a try. Please tag me and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me.